Hello, Aquarius viewers. I'm going to see what's going on with your person. Um, just see what story the cards want to tell. So, for the Aquariuses that are drawn to this video, for this group of Aquariuses that I channel, you know, I, I get like a very um, deep past life love story. It's like you, you guys, you're both old souls. You and your person are very old souls, and. I um, just for those of you that are new to this channel, for those of you that were just drawn to this video, um, I do you know feel like you're you died in front of your person in a past life, and so that's why your person is so afraid of opening up to you and and really letting you in and and, and expressing their emotions. It's like they're they're afraid of losing you again. There's this past life trauma, and I feel like you guys are both warriors. I feel like. You guys have led rebellions in your past life. I feel like you just, you have very traumatic past lives, very powerful past lives, but very traumatic at the same time. And those past life issues have carried over into this lifetime. I think this, this is for a few different people. This is for a, a specific group of Aquariuses, a select few that are drawn to these videos. And, you know, that's, that it, it, it explains your person's behavior. It's why they're so afraid. I think that you have no idea why they push you away so much, why they're so afraid of getting close to you. It's because they still remember that trauma on some level. Um, and I, I kept getting Ireland. So I got like an I some kind of Irish rebellion for a lot of you. Um, I think that, I think that you just died violently and it was kind of unexpected. I think that because I get this visual of your person meeting with like a group of um, of men and they're planning something out and you're doing something else that's connected to um, whatever whatever rebellion or whatever it was that you guys were planning and then you end up getting killed. Um, and for some of you, I think this story is, you know, you actually got killed in front of them during a war. Um, I think it's it's... You know, there's there's a few different stories, there's a few different variations, but it's it's the general same general idea that you know they they lost you and they haven't really gotten over that. But this is a this is a twin flame, um, probably a twin flame, a soulmate for some of you, but for most of you, it's a twin flame. This is a very old, ancient past life connection. If you're interested in the past life story, you know, I would go back and check my other Aquarius videos out if this is resonating with you. But let's see what's going on with your person now. I always see, I don't know if you guys have watched Peaky Blinders, I always see Tommy from Peaky Blinders when I channel this group. Like I always, it's like that kind of energy that your person has like on a soul level. Does that make any sense? <laughs> it's like you're both, you're both very powerful people. Very, very powerful people. Okay. Willpower, strength, confidence, codependency and addiction, choosing a path. Can you see that? Okay, yeah, you can see that. Uh, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, home, a sense of belonging, safe space, divine intervention, synchronicity, mutual feelings, emotional depth, anger, miscommunication, waiting, hoping, praying, nostalgia, and longing, and taking it slow and pulling them in and getting to know each other. There's a, there's a strong energy of, of like the temperance card comes to mind here. Cause I take it, you see the willpower, strength and confidence. Then we have codependency and addiction. And it's almost like your person has to choose a path, you know, cause we've been telling the same story. And a lot of times, you know, that's just how it is. It's like, they just get stuck in that same energy. It's a merry-go-round, um, for your person, for you guys. And sometimes it's really, people can stay in that energy for years. I could be telling the same story for another year from now, you know? It, it's really because your person has free will. It's really up to them. Are they gonna, are they gonna heal these issues or are they gonna keep repeating them? I think a big part of the problem with your person is I feel like that they are very mentally strong. Um, they are a very empathetic person. They they might be a little bit rough around the edges at times, but again, that that has to do with the the past lives that you guys have been through. Like you guys have just been through so much past life trauma, and I think both of you would really benefit from healing and soul retrieval 
from an experienced shaman. You know, there's a lot of scam artists out there, so you got to make sure you actually find a shaman that's legit. But I think, you know, your person needs soul retrieval, and I think that's a big issue that you guys keep running into, which you might not be fully conscious of, is that these past life issues are holding them back. So you're just getting kind of confused because you're like, what the hell? Like, I haven't done anything wrong. Why do you let me in and then run away from me or, or ghost me or, you know, tell me you can't commit? Like, why do you get so anxious and so afraid when we're together? Or why do you get so, why are you so afraid to just be with me and just let yourself be happy? And, you know, it's this, this past life trauma from, from losing you, from, from war, from violence, from, you know, having to be a leader all the time, having to be strong all the time. And I feel this could be somebody who would be drawn to politics in this lifetime too, because they're kind of repeating that pattern of, you know, life has to be a battle. I mean, it is a battle. There's with, you know, politics, it, it is a battle. We can't ignore that. I'm not saying that, but just that they would be somebody who would want to like riot or want to protest or somebody who would, um, just they need to be in that like a leadership position almost does that make sense I mean it, with, the, with the way the world is right now it calls for it you know that's that's where we're at it makes sense it really does um there's a lot of things going on in the world that we just can't ignore but I'm just letting you know like what that stems from it's not just from this lifetime and it's just, it's an issue because I think that they have this soul contract that they're repeating of feeling like life has to be a battle and that they always have to be strong and they always have to fight for something and they can't just have a simple life. They can't just relax and rest and be happy. They, they always just have to go, go, go. And, you know, that's, that's, I think that's just the issue with you guys is, is that, you know, they keep running away from you. And neither of you really understand why, and this is why. You know, this this right here, this this past the past life trauma, the violence, losing you, having to watch you die, all of that is is why they keep running away. And they again they probably have soul contracts as well that they keep repeating. So they would really benefit from um cutting those soul contracts out and also doing a lot of healing work, shadow work. And uh, doing soul retrieval would be really good for them because there's a lot of trauma here. But I think that they're becoming aware that they have to make a choice with you. I don't know if you gave them an ultimatum recently or maybe you guys just aren't talking that much and you're kind of starting to match their energy more. Where I think at first you were trying to convince them, um, you know, hey, I'm here. I love you. I want to be with you. Like, this is safe. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so distant and cold? You know, and now you know that the reason why. Um, and I think that they're realizing that they're losing you. You know, even if you're, even if you haven't come out and said it, I think they just realize that energy difference. This is somebody who's like a leader. This is somebody who's an old soul, somebody who's a warrior spirit, somebody who's probably very intelligent, I would assume, considering all their past lives, everything they've been through. Um, somebody who's, you know, got some like military strategizing behind their back behind their belt you know in the in his past lives uh I would think that they would be in a very intelligent person so I think that they're aware that they're losing you regardless of if you said it or not because they just feel like why aren't you trying to convince them anymore why aren't you talking to them as much why are you shorter with them than you were before um, and it's good that you're being like that, though, because they can't keep doing this to you. They really can't. Um, if you do witchcraft, it would be good to do some healing work for them just on the sides. But again, stay detached. Don't put all your eggs in this basket. But, you know, if you can, just try to just try to keep sending them some good healing energy, some calm energy. But don't... You have this like push-pull thing where it's like you chase them and they run because they have that fear. And that fear needs to be addressed um not necessarily that they need to I mean they might not understand it if you try to tell them you know I'm sure a lot of people probably wouldn't would just think it was crazy they wouldn't understand but um you know those soul contracts do need to be cut out uh they do need soul retrieval they do need healing um even if you're just sending them doing some like candle magic or just sending them some healing energy yourself whatever you want to do um they 
if they keep if they stay in this energy they're they're going to they might come back but then they're going to run again as soon as you open up because it's like they're going to they they know how much they love you they know how terrified they are of losing you um but, but yeah they're realizing they're realizing you're not as available as you were in the past which i think is is a recent update so i mean it's the same story but i think a month ago I was I was getting that they were wanting to make some effort, but I get even I get that even more so now. So I feel like you've even put you've even pulled away a little bit further now, um, you know, which is which is a good thing. And they're realizing they have to choose the path, that they need to be strong and confident, and they need they need to um, choose their free will and step into their willpower, and get past these um, these ties, these addictions, this addiction to to war, to famine, to um, violence to, to drama, to heartbreak. Um, it's like a very passionate person. And then just all that passion is, is going into these negative outlets. And it's like, they're codependent on that energy. So they know that they need to choose. They know that they need to step into their power and, and be strong and, and choose you or, you know, stay in this pattern and keep going on this merry-go-round forever. Like they know that they need to do something and that they, they're not going to have you forever. Um, but there, yeah, there is also that energy of, of kind of taking it slow, like wanting to ease into things. Like I think that they're conscious, they know how afraid they are. I mean, obviously, of course, they would know how, how afraid they are, even if they're not conscious of why they're so afraid. Like they know that they're terrified of losing you. I think they just don't understand like why, what's making them so scared of that. You know, I think they just kind of try to rationalize it. Well, I really love her. I really love him. So that must be where that fear is coming from, you know? Mm. But I think it's like they're wanting to come back, but they want to come back really slowly. It's like a stray dog coming. It's like you're calling that stray dog back in with a piece of meat or something. And it's, that came out wrong. That was a weird way to say that. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like a stray animal coming towards you. It's like you have to be really calm, really subtle, really gentle. If you move too fast, they're going to run and you lose your chance. You know, it's just that kind of energy. Uh, it's like they really want to go. They're trying to use their anxiety. They're trying to just go really slowly so that they don't freak out and run away again. Um, and they're there. I think it's... It, because of all this past life trauma, it makes it worse because they're so confused about why they feel like this. Like they kind of just feel like they've just gone crazy. They're like, why am I having so much anxiety and fear about this person? Like, why am I so codependent and obsessed? Why am I, you know, why do I feel like this? Why can't I just have a normal, stable relationship with them? You know, why, like, why do I feel all this chaos, you know? And that confusion is part of, you know, that's another part of why they run. They just feel like they're crazy when they're around you. It's like, they're not one, I mean, not like in a negative way, but just they, they don't understand what they feel. You know, I mean, they know, I think they know that they love you or they know that they at least have strong feelings for you, but they don't know what they feel as regard to like all of the, the fear and the, the, um, the, the pain, the desire to run and just all of that. I think that kind of confuses them a little bit. But so yeah, they're they're trying to choose their words wisely, kind of just trying to ease in there. Um, you know, this is this is home, safe space, sense of belonging. This is like you guys. This is like a twin flame connection, most likely, or at least a soulmate connection. We've got divine intervention and synchronicity here. So I think that their guides are trying to heal this and trying to bring you guys back together, and trying to get them to realize this is true love. You know, mutual feelings, emotional depth. Like give into this, give into the passion have a positive outlet for that passion instead of having to be addicted to the war and the drama and the the poverty and the chaos, you know, have like more of a positive outlet for this passion. Like what about like romance, you know? And let's see. So I'm looking at these four cards because I feel like these four kind of just go together and tell a different story. I mean, they tell the same story, but it's like a different part of the the story here is what I'm getting. I feel like maybe they just came off cold, angry. Um, There's just some miscommunication there. And it's like they're just kind of waiting and hoping and praying for this, this another chance, you know? 
Um, it's like they're nostalgic, they're longing for you, but again, we have another card here that talks about going slowly, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. It's like they are nostalgic, they are missing you, but despite how deep their emotions are, they do want to take it slowly because they don't want to... Um, I think when when you guys when you come on strong, I feel like it's like there's there's it's just this true love story, and so when you come on really strong, it's like all that fear of losing you comes up, and so they're kind of just trying to, you know, find their balance, find this this temperance, this middle ground, and understand what they're feeling, and um, and taking it slow is is the key to that, I, I believe, for them. And so I think that's a message for you too, if this person messages you don't don't overdo it don't overwhelm them find a good balance you know you don't have to play hard to get and, and make them think that you don't care anymore but but don't lay everything out on the table all at once you know what I mean um because you need to get out of this pattern that you guys are in where they come back and then you attach and then the past life trauma comes up and they run. And it's like just the same back and forth, back and forth. You need to get out of that pattern off that merry-go-round so that this can actually work out for you. So I hope this helps. Um, I do have reading specials going on. It's $40 for a 30 plus minute reading or five pendulum questions for $5. Um, if this resonates, subscribe. All my contact info is below. Thank you.